Welcome to Comcast High School Sports on Demand, powered by MaxPreps.com. I'm Ralph Nickerson. It's week one of high school football in Texas. Tonight's game is a rematch of last year's opener between the Austin Bulldogs and the 4A Longhorns of George Ranch High School. Last year, Ranch won that opener 28-20. Austin bounced back from that loss to win a share of the District 23-5A title. This year, the Bulldogs would love to get things started on a higher note. To do that, they have to deal with a very fast Longhorn defense, and they have to show that they can pass the ball. Matt Henry gets a hand on the ball, and Arian Torres comes down with it. Darius Anderson is just a sophomore, but this young man has skills. A 25-yard pickup and a Longhorn first down. Two plays later, quarterback Tommy Nolan gets behind that big offensive line. Touchdown, Ranch. With the point after, the Longhorns are up 7-0. And the point is good. In the second quarter, the Longhorns stay with the run. Fourth and goal, ball on the one-yard line. George Ranch elects to go for it. Anderson stops short of the goal line, and the Bulldogs will take over on the one. The one thing that you can't do in your own end zone is go sideways. DeAndre Williams gives up a safety and he gets an unsportsmanlike penalty for slamming the ball down. Two big mistakes on one play for Austin. Now they have to punt the ball from their own 10 yard lines. Things are not going well for the Bulldogs. Punter Michael McKenna should be the last line of defense, but he races down the field leaving no one back to stop Xavier Marks who has a clear path to the end zone. Touchdown, George Ranch. The point after kick is off, and the score is now George Ranch 15, Fort Bend Austin 0. But not for long. Austin has one of the best ground games in the district. This time they take to the air. Nick Bossy with a 39-yard touchdown reception. 15 to 7 is the count inside of five minutes before the half. Austin needs a stop, but this sophomore is tough. Anderson up the middle, touchdown Longhorns. Torrin Marks gets the interception to end the Austin drive and the half. Bulldogs come out in the second half needing to get something on the board before this thing gets way out of hand. So they call on the big man. You don't want to be a defensive back going head to head with Williams this close to pay dirt. Touchdown Bulldogs. Austin now down by nine in the third. Finished the night with 120 yards on just 13 carries. Here he gets his second touchdown of the night to put his team up 31-14 after the two-point conversion. Marks gets his second interception of the night and another pick six. First one, uh, I just saw the ball and I reacted, did what I could do. Second one. Saw it again, reacted, and took it to the house for the squad. Nook Amware posted big numbers last year, rushing for over 1,200 yards and 16 touchdowns. He gets his first trip to the end zone this year off of a three-yard run to make the final score 39-21. to uh, We was just coming out here to prove a point. People doubted us. People think we couldn't do it. We came out here and showed them what we can do. George Ranch gets a big win to open the season. Impressive considering the Longhorns connected for just one pass on six attempts for just eight yards. But they played great defense and got an outstanding effort from sophomore Darius Anderson. It's good. It's good competition for us, but I think we could put in the hard work. We'll be good. Youngin, he, he worked hard though. I'm pretty sure he's going to have a good future, pretty bright future. He's, uh, you know, he's got a bright future ahead of him, and uh, uh, he had to step up tonight and, and, and get us through the game, make some plays for us, and he did that. I was proud of him. Uh, 
and he'll continue to get better and better. Uh, we'll watch the video and fix some of the mistakes that we made, uh, but I'm very proud of our team tonight. Thank you for watching Comcast High School Sports on Demand, powered by MaxPreps.com. I'm Raph Nickerson.